Hi, my name is Jenny Navarez and I'm one of the instructional designers for the Office of Information Technology. I wanted to take a few moments today and show you a very quick way to access the files that you may already have in your Blackboard course uh, through your Mac OS system. Let me show you very quick how to do that. To access your file manager or the files section in your course, I'm simply going to go to the Valencia webpage and log in to Blackboard 9. And once I log in, I'm going to search for the course that I want to work with. In this case, it's my development course. I'm going to scroll down to the control panel and I'm going to click on Files, and I'm going to click on the title of the course that I'm interested in, in searching files through. Okay, so right now, I'm looking at my file manager. You'll see there that I have a, looks like a logo photo, as well as a folder with more content inside of it. If I want to access these files quickly, or perhaps I want to set up a folder a shortcut maybe on my Mac OS desktop so that I'm able to quickly drag files into it like for example my calendar or my syllabus for this particular class all I have to do really is click on the button that says set up shared location for this course I need to copy the current address and you'll see it right there HTTP learn Valencia CC .edu. Let me grab everything. And I'm simply going to right click and copy. By the way, if you'll notice below what I'm actually going through right now, it's telling you the instructions in the event that you want to uh, print off the instructions and follow along rather than watch the video. The instructions are right below. At this point, I can minimize my browser and go back to my desktop on my Mac and go to go connect to server. Here, I simply paste that URL that I had copied recently and I click connect. At this point, you may be asked to log in again. Uh, just type in your Atlas username and your password, however you logged into Blackboard. And what you're looking at right now is in my finder window, I'm looking at that logo that I had, as well as the folder that you saw inside my file section. So at this point, maybe this is where I want to drag that syllabus that I've been working on that I need to share with my students, as well as a print-friendly calendar. Okay, so I've got those two files right there. I'm done. I no longer need to do anything else with this particular um, folder. So I can close my Finder window, return back to my course, and at this point, I'm just going to refresh the screen, scroll down, Control Panel, files and you'll notice in my file manager you see the training calendar and the syllabus now the file manager is only seen by you the instructor if you want to allow the students to have access to those files we need to add them somewhere in the course menu so at this point this is where I would probably go into my start here area go to build content and add those files. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and add the syllabus. So I'm basically making it public so that my students can see it. There we go. I've selected the PDF. I click Submit. Give it a name that makes sense. And now at the very bottom of my screen, my syllabus file will appear. Okay. That's a very simple way of setting up a connection so that I can just drag and drop many, many files together. That's kind of the power of using this system. The shared folder location or the connect to server on your Mac OS allows you to take 
20, 30 files, multiple folders in once, and simply drag them, drag and drop them right into your course files area. Okay? And that is basically it for Mac users. <laughs>